update on the actual J7 here. I have finally managed to get Google Play on the phone by flashing the Hong Kong software thanks to a, a viewer who actually saw my video asking if I if there was any source or any downloads. So I need to thank that guy for actually providing that link because now this phone works, it's got Google, you can see here it's got Google. It's not rooted because I flashed a Hong Kong ROM which the guy kindly provided which was actually just wow he actually managed to do that was actually just great because I spent three months trying to find to find the file and just couldn't find it until now and now it's here and I flashed it everything works you know it's the Hong Kong ROM it's got Google instead of the China it's instead of the Chinese one because in China they don't allow Google which is quite stupid hopefully, hopefully the new UN internet internet law because they've made internet access as a human right so hopefully in China they will be allowing open access to Google I'm not sure about that yet but I'm just going to show you here software info you can actually see it's not the Chinese baseband version anymore it's not the same build number anymore because before that was ZME1 APC3 which is the actual Chinese like actual mainland Chinese ROM this is the Hong Kong version of the ROM as you can see the model numbers here and you know it's running lollipop still you can see it's running lollipop and everything this is still the J7. Everything works. Just it's just great. You know. You just download this quickly. So you can actually see the actual phone specs I can show you in a minute. You can see here J7 Optical 1080p AMOLED screen. Sorry, there's like one video I mentioned that it was an IPS, that was a mistake, it's actually an AMOLED display. Mali T720, you know, 4K rear camera, everything the same as before, nothing's changed. Which is good. I don't doubt it will change because that's all hardware. And you can see everything works, which is great. So, thanks for watching this video. I shall be doing, I may be doing a review on the phone that I'm actually recording right now, which is the Mi 5. And the next video I'll probably be recording off uh, Redmi Note 3 or of this phone to actually give a full review on the uh, on my daily driver, which is the Xiaomi Mi 5 Pro, which is a fantastic phone for the price, which I paid about £370 for it on eBay, which is great. I checked it, it's, it's not fake, which is because I get updates weekly from from Xiaomi. Well, I've unlocked the bootloader for it, so I can flash the global ROM instead to get Google, actual Google support, which is just great. This The Xiaomi is just great. The Xiaomi... <laughs> don't know. Ever since the uh, Redmi, uh, Redmi 1S, I've been a big fan of Xiaomi, so, you know, everything works out. Xiaomi Mi 5 is a big upgrade for my iPhone, I'll tell you that now, because, because the iPhone was very uncomfortable to use. Every time you try to watch a video in your bed, you drop on your face and it bloody hurts, you know? Because it's so light and the corners are actually really, really thin. So when they hit your eye, when you're dropping it or your nose, it kills. Anyway, enough about that. I'm just going to end the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.